Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If this is your first time here on this channel, I like to bring a lot of hair and makeup related videos. So if that's something you're interested in, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video. All right, y'all. So today is another synthetic wig review. And today I am reviewing a unit from the Outre collection. She is in the style De Vita and in the color DR2 Cinnamon Wine. She comes pre-plucked along with baby hairs and a 5 inch Swiss L part. She also claims to have HD transparent lace. And she's heat resistant up to 400 degrees. So let's go ahead and get right on into the review. Let's talk about Miss Davida. First and foremost, I love this cinnamon wine color. Y'all know I'm a red hair girl fan. I love all types of reddish colored hair, and this is no exception. This cinnamon wine, oh my gosh, so pretty. Now, as for style, Although I feel like boss lady in this, like somebody is like, uh, Miss V, we need you down in the conference room. All right, I'll be right there. That's how I feel with this one. But this is like one of those units where it's hard to find the flow of the style. So because I couldn't quite find the flow <laughs> of the style, you know, I got the chopping and, you know, just trying to create a flow of my own and... It somewhat helped, but not all the way. I mean, I was just, I was trying to add some more layers here because it was like a long swoop here in the front. So like a long, very long layer, which I felt like I needed a little more dimension. So the style I was a little iffy on. I felt like it has potential, but I don't know. It's just <laughs> not really sure what it's doing yet. It's just doing something and I don't know what. All right, so let's talk about this HD lace that is not the case. 
it was of course way too light for my skin i did of course go in with my even tint spray in the color dark brown and that helped it definitely helped the lace blend so i'm kind of covering it up with baby hairs and things um, but as you can see, the lace is here, but it was much lighter. I even went in with my colored pencil to darken the sides so that they wouldn't be exposed. Pre-plucked hairline, y'all. I get so annoyed when companies throw pre-plucked hairline on the packaging and on the stock card. And there's no pre-plucked hairline. So you saw me go in and attempt to pluck some more. And I'd be plucking for days if... You know, I wanted a really, really pre-plucked hairline, but I just stopped and was like, okay, this is going to be good enough. All right, so this hair is silky, and I literally, while my camera was kind of cooling off because it was starting to overheat a little bit, while I was literally waiting for that, I just went in with my dry shampoo because it, although it's silky, it was very shiny, so I wanted to reduce some of that shine, so you may see a little bit of a difference now. Um, now that I've done that and I actually do myself and like it a whole lot better. The hair is super soft. I have not been getting a whole lot of tangling. Once I did a good comb through, no tangling whatsoever. Shedding, yes. And it could be me. I never know. Um, I did go in and try to pluck some more, so could be a result of me. I'm not sure. Now, I don't know if you noticed during the styling process, but this lace ripped so easily. I was just trying to pull the dog on wig down on my head and that sucker rip. So it's like paper thin lace. Although it's HD and supposed to like melt into your skin, the color doesn't blend and it probably does melt if I were to glue it down. But yeah, it's super thin. Even with me cutting it off, it was just like trying to cut itself off. I was like, hold on, that ain't the direction I want to go. So be careful with that. Something else I like about this is that I think this is like, I love wigs that are like this length. This is like perfect length to me. You know, it's not like hanging down. It doesn't make it tangle easily when it's this length. I just like this length. <laughs> I really love this length. The cat size, um, it's definitely on the small to medium size. I don't know if I would say it's large. Now, it could still be big head friendly because, of course, I have my wig grip on. I always do with synthetic units. Um, so, if I took it off, it may be a little more room. Um, so, I think maybe bigger heads, you might not be able to wear a wig grip, but it's possible it'll still fit. All right. So, the price range for this wig ranges anywhere from like $24 to $30. Um, some sites have an additional $2 for the color choice that I have. Um, outside of the natural colors so be mindful of that just type the name in your google search and see what your best options are if it's something you're interested in so is it worth it yeah you know if this is a style that you like a length that you like that you would like to rock that you don't mind rocking i think the price i think the price is pretty decent um for this style and to get you know good quality nice density also i did not mention density this is why this is really good density um i would say about 150 to 180 percent density and it's not like super thick and heavy and full it's just a really good density like you 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 get some good hair on here for sure really nice density so is it worth it for the color the density the the hair texture once you put some dry shampoo on it and get rid of that shine the ease of the hair yeah i think that that all makes it worth it you could avoid doing anything with the hairline other than tinting it to your color. You still have to make sure it blends with your color. But you don't have to pluck it if you don't want. You could go in and just use some of the baby hairs, um, you know, to kind of camouflage that hairline. So it's, it's a doable wig. I like it. I could see myself wearing this to work for sure. <laughs> Good work wig. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this unit down in the comments below, especially the color, which is like my favorite part of this wig. Let me know what you think. And I will chat with you guys down in the comments, as I always do. I love chatting with y'all. All right, y'all. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.